Hello, my student. Uh, today we are going to uh, talk or speak about uh, 3.45, the mood. Uh, if you remember, we took the mood one day when we uh, were uh, when we uh, were talking about the finite and the non-finite verbs, and we said for the verb to be uh, uh, finite, there should be some uh, uh, some features like the uh, uh, concord, like the uh, uh, meaning, for example. So what is meant by the meaning? Meaning, in a brief, is though it has more than one meaning, conveys the speaker's sentence meaning. Means what is meant by the utterance of the speaker. Here, mood can be classified into two categories. The first category we can call the main, say, mood. The main mood or the main moods. Accordingly, for the main moods, I mean the meaning of the sentence here, we have uh, the, the first group, it has three types. The first type is what we call declarative. Declarative. And sometimes, or some grammarian called uh, statement. Or uh, so declarative, st declarative statement. Uh, declarative can be divided into two main, uh, two types. The first one, affirmative. Affirmative. And the second one, we call it a negative. Negative statement, or for example, we can say, declarative, say, today is, for example, Sunday. Today is Sunday. This is declarative. Say, I am here. This is declarative. You are a student. This is declarative. Iraq is, say, a big country. Whatever, just to tell information, and we call it... Uh, uh, so, uh, declarative or statement. And the opposite, if we add not to this one, for example, to say today is Sunday is affirmative. Today is not uh, Sunday, and this is what we call it, uh, say, a negative. I'm not here. You are not John. She is not happy, etc. So, adding uh, negation to the uh, sentence, we change it from affirmative to the negative. This is the first type of the mood. By the way, we have, for the main moods, we have three categories. The second category is what we call the interrogative. Interrogative. What is meant by, you know what is meant by interrogative. Interrogative means the questions. And again, since we have affirmative and negative, also in interrogative we have affirmative and say, uh, negative interrogative. For example, where do you live? Where do you live? Where say, do you live? Where do you live? This is what? Interrogative. Interrogative means what? A question. Or, don't you like, say, playing chess, for example? This is what? Uh, uh, negative. Interrogative. And say, for example, how long the river, uh, how uh, long do you live uh, in Iraq? To say, or where are you uh, say staying? All these uh, marker used with why, with when, with where, etc. We use them for the interrogative. The uh, third category of the main group, the main group, is by using the what we call the imperative. Imperative uh, also it has more uh, one uh, name or. Uh, Form. Sometimes we call it command or order. Uh, it could be request under all these categories under the imperative. Let's say, for example, please say pass, for example, the salt. Say, so please pass the salt. Means give me the salt. This is what imperative means. Or, for example, close the say, door. See, close. Always, I mean, this imperative uh, starts with what? With the verb. And the verb is in form of uh, the simple or the base form. Etc. Whatever. Come here, go there, uh, find an answer, uh, speak slowly. All these, we call them imperative. This is the first group. The second group is, we call the secondary or we call them minor minor uh, mood 
minor moods or minor group or secondary. Here we have only uh, two types of the minor moods. The first one, exclamatory, we call it exclamatory. By the way, why we arrange them in this way? Because, uh, or according to the proportion of our use or their use, means most people or mostly we use the declarative. The second, uh, we use the uh, interrogative. In a less degree or amount, we use the imperative. Then, a less group, we use exclamatory, exclamatory sentences. And sometimes we call it exclamation. We, when we have a sentence, and after a sentence, we put this uh, mark, exclamation mark. Of course, this is in writing. But in speech or in spoken language, we use the intonation. Here we uh, take, for example, uh, this sentence. How? A high mountain it is. See this structure? How a high mountain? We can use either high or say what. Then what do we have? The subject. What a high? What a high? This is the adjective. What a high mountain? This is the subject. Then we repeat, it is. We don't say, uh, how a high mountain, it is the ex ex exclamation mark. To say, the, uh, the huge of this mountain. Or we can use what. Either, what a nice boy he is. For example, what? Say, a clever boy. Say, he is. Like this, for example, take this. What a clever boy he is. Again, this is by using either what or uh, we're using how or what. Uh, another uh, two elements we use here is by using such. For example, just under the same such. All this under exclamation. For example, she is such a... Nice, say girl. She, she is such. We use such in this respect also as indication of what of exclamation. She is, say ya laha for example in Arabic we use it. She is such a nice girl, etc. So this is what we mean by, or sometimes even we use. So he is, for example, he is, he is. So tall man. See? So we use also so or such to express or to indicate the exclamation. These are the cases for the minor. I mean the first case the minor. So the first the first kind under the minor moods is by using the exclamation. This is, uh, that belongs to the, uh, I mean, this part belongs to the first. For the minor, we have the first part, the first type, as we call it, exclamation. The second type is what we call subjunctive. And this is what we are going to explain um, alone. So, the first one, exclamatory sentences. The second one is we call the subjunctive sentences.